Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. Jump off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, love, laugh, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Fett on ubnradio.com. And welcome. You are tuned in to my weekly talk radio show called Take My Advice, I'm Not Using It. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at naturally high noon out of the Sunset Gower Studios at Universal Broadcasting Network. And every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 11 on my syndicated CNBC News Radio channel, AM 1050 KCAA. And now... On FM as well, 106.5. Yes, you can get me everywhere. I am determined to make this your reality show. So no gossip, no scandal, no K-words, no Kardashian talk at all, because I want you to focus on you and how you can be happy 88% of the time. So I pick topics and guests that help you with that. And today is absolutely no... Uh, no accident. It's uh, all the stars aligned. I just found out that she's a Leo like I am too. <laughs> and I'm so, so blessed. Keiko Matsui. And, and I know I've had so, my, my Facebook's been on fire. Everybody's been saying, I love Keiko Matsui. I've always loved her music. She's a Japanese keyboardist and composer specializing in smooth jazz, jazz fusion, and new age music. Her career spans almost four decades, during which time she's released, she's not that old, um, <laughs> 20 CDs in addition to various compilations and has hit the Billboard charts too many times to list. Her name means lucky and blessed child in Japanese, respectful child, and we are lucky to have her in the studio today. Please welcome Keiko Matsui. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Hi. Good morning. Yes. So happy to be here. And so happy to have you. Oh, thank you. And uh, so excited to discover you are Leo too. Yes, yes. I know. <laughs> we, we had that connection back in two, 2006. I met you mm -hmm. on a, a jazz cruise mm -hmm. when I was dating someone I won't talk <laughs> about, but <laughs> the owner of Jazz Cruise Lines. And one of the benefits of that, definitely, <laughs> uh, what I, what I, I don't miss him so much, but I definitely miss <laughs> <laughs> the caliber of people that I got to so meet. So happy to renew union here yes. and this special program. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. You Thank are you. definitely a great example of the kind of guests that I like to have wow. because not only mm -hmm. are you extremely talented and and in you know I was thinking about this driving in it's one thing to be a musician and and to and to be really really good at art and craft and and to to express yourself through song mm -hmm. You know, singing, you have the the benefit of the words right. so you're so you're actually expressing through words and it touches your heart. I love the fact that you can make people cry uh -huh. with your music that has there no words. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you get to just fly. What, what is it like to play? And, mm -hmm. and I watch you when you're playing. Mm -hmm. You are in your music. You are you're immersed. You're, it's like you're taking a bath uh -huh. in your music. <laughs> <laughs> what does that feel like? Well, when I hit the keys... I don't think anything about it. Just I become nothing and just concentration. And then I feel that I'm the between kind of like something above mm. and uh, fr from the earth, I'm the between. So it is very mystic progress. Yes. And uh, just I, without me thinking, just I express like uh, everything is uh, transported to my notes mm -hmm. and enhanced the body of the piano through the body of the piano mm -hmm. and uh, its reflection like mirror and uh, it has my passion and sometimes um, 
like happiness or everything mean mean I don't compose with a concept or I don't think about anything when mm-hmm. I compose. But somehow the result, I feel that uh, my emotions, experience, everything is there. Right. And even good thing or bad thing, right. happiness to sorrow mm-hmm. and uh, many, many elements of uh, the emotion as a human being. Right. So right. I feel that, wow, uh, yeah, just so I become nothing mm-hmm. and dedicating mm-hmm. everything from me. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, how old were you when you started playing the keyboards? About five years old. Wow. Mm -hmm. And and was it your idea or your mom's idea? (laughs) My mom's, of course. (laughs) You know, uh, my mom is a traditional Japanese dance teacher. Ah. So she wanted to me to. She is Leo too, actually. Is she? Uh (laughs) July twenty (laughs) fourth. Another strong woman, but uh, but uh, she wanted me to take the dance lessons. Mm But I didn't show any interest. Okay. So she took me to piano lesson, it's, which is a very common. Right. Piano or uh, like uh, ballet or that kind of thing. Yes. So yeah. she took me there and mm-hmm. then just I loved it. And she never t- told me that the practice. She didn't have to tell you to practice. Didn't have to. Okay. I was a good child. Good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you were a very good child. You lived up to your name. Mm. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thank mom that this Chinese character K mm-hmm. is very special one, and I loved it. Well, that's that wonderful. My name. That's <laughs> wonderful. So a peace shout out to mom. Thank you very much, mom, <laughs> for encouraging <laughs> her to uh, stay <laughs> with her art. So you played from the age of five. Mm-hmm. When did you start composing? Composing was like during the uh, elementary school era. So like uh, taking diary, writing diary. Uh-huh. Instead of that, I started making. Uh, uh, writing song very uh-huh. small tiny thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and when I saw beautiful nature or some uh, special event I had mm-hmm. then as a memory I wrote ah, yeah beautiful. tiny songs beautiful mm-hmm. now wh- besides your mom anyone else encourage you like this is what you need to do you know, I, ta- I tell my listeners all the time, every mm-hmm. single person on the planet, all 7.3 billion of us have mm-hmm. a unique talent, mm-hmm. gift, and ability. Right. And, you know, it would be wonderful if everybody mm-hmm. was encouraged that way. Mm-hmm. But we're not. Mm-hmm. So it's time for us to encourage ourselves. Mm-hmm. But I, al- I always want, I, I'm curious, mm-hmm. who encouraged people along the way mm-hmm. to get to where you are? Well... Um, I met so many people, of mm-hmm. course, but the beginning of my um, child era, I was interested in everything uh-huh. and curious to everything. And mm-hmm. not, uh, I never thought about becoming a professional musician. Mm-hmm. So I took piano lessons, but uh, besides that, I was very active, like playing outside and fighting against bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fight for I fairness. still do that. Uh, you do that. <laughs> so I think I'm doing that. <laughs> But we're, we're going out yeah, after the concert yes, on Friday. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so, so lots of things. I, I, I did a ch- um, chairman for the student uh, community, mm-hmm. and also that uh, I did a, um, I did a soccer game. I mean, a football. Okay. I took among all boys. I was in uh, the <laughs> in the team. Yes. And also many things. And at the same time, I did uh, some uh, compose composing for the musical. At the elementary school okay. for my class to so, do so you, you follow my life motto, which really? is don't die wondering, <laughs> right? <laughs> you only live once, <laughs> right. you know, and why can't we do it all, uh-huh. right? Yeah. So, so, so nobody really forced to me, but uh, some good influence from my friend sometime mm-hmm. or my guru uh-huh. and or sometime calligraphy teacher uh-huh. in the mountain when I was uh-huh. lived in Hiroshima. Okay. I loved it to draw the Japanese uh-huh. with the brush, calligraphy. calligraphy. You can do that too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why I did it in the cruise ship too. Oh. But uh, but uh, while I was writing, I just sit there for two three hours until my mom uh, came to me and uh, you should go back and mm-hmm. dinner time. So that much, I just like the silence mm-hmm. from that era too. Beautiful. Mm. And if you're just tuned in and you're wondering who my fabulous guest is today, it is the world-renowned keyboard uh, number one in my mind, and I'm sure on the billboard, uh, a jazz composer and 
a pianist and keyboardist. You play an interesting guitarish key <laughs> keyboard in, uh, that I saw at the Long Beach <laughs> Jazz Festival, Keiko Matsui, and she's here to share just a little bit of the inside story <laughs> of her, uh, you know, her music. And were you ever? Did you ever think of not doing what you're doing? Were you ever discouraged or? Because, you know, mm -hmm. traditionally they say artists, you know, mm -hmm. to make a living as an artist or a musician is not an easy thing. Right. So was there ever a time that you thought maybe this wasn't for you or you always knew? Actually, um, actually, until I really, well, when I, well, where to start? <laughs> my <laughs> dad, okay. my uh -huh. dad was saying that I don't want to Keiko to do music to make a living because mm. uh, he knew it's hard. Yes. So, but uh, he he was happy. He's already in heaven. Yes. But he was happy. Uh, he is happy if I'm happy. Yes. So they were really supportive, and maybe uh, when I started my career as Keiko Matsui, mm -hmm. and uh, still I was uh, I was uh, thinking. Maybe someday uh, I'm going to stop because like my mom, my mom was uh, concentrating on as only mother mm -hmm. and a wife. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. era I was married. And when I had a baby, first baby, I was thinking maybe I want to stay with baby mm -hmm. all the time like my, my mom did. Mm -hmm. So that uh, right before the last show, um, before the baby birth, mm -hmm. I didn't tell anyone, but uh, I was performing and a sold out show and uh, I was thinking oh maybe this is the last concert uh -huh. or something and yeah. then after the show the ladies like you I mean a very energetic lady yes three of them showed uh -huh. up to me and they said just said uh, don't stop mm. and the another lady older lady he, she was in tears and she hold my hand and uh, thank you so much for beautiful thing. Mm. So then I was kind of shocked. Yeah. Well, they read my mind. Yes, there's and your then answer. Mm -hmm. Since then, mm -hmm. I felt, oh my gosh, I am so fortunate to deliver this music from the stage yeah. and uh, surrounded by these great fans. And I was thinking to quit and I really felt bad. Right. And since then, I feel, well, I'm healthy and I can travel with music mm -hmm. and I have a responsibility because uh, I received the songs. Yeah. So I had to deliver it. Mm -hmm. Since then, I really started feeling like, okay, I should keep doing it. Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm mm. getting a little teary because exactly what she said, mm -hmm. what you said about mm -hmm. your dad was exactly my dad. Oh, really? He said the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I was either go PhD mm -hmm. or music because mm -hmm. I, I, I uh, got my made my way through grad school singing as a lounge lizard oh. and uh, a lot of people don't know that but um, my dad flew from Canada and mm -hmm. said darling <laughs> <laughs> you've always wanted a PhD and mm -hmm. it's you know you, you you're good but you're not that good <laughs> So you should probably, you can always come back to it. And he's in heaven now, too. Oh, really? So your dad and my dad, oh. another thing in common. Oh, and I know he's very happy for me now. Yes, mine, too. <laughs> mine, too. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. They probably set this up, huh? Oh, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe so. <laughs> I think they're here now. Yeah, <laughs> oh absolutely. <my> <laughs> absolutely. So so what would you say mm -hmm. um, some major mm -hmm life events that shaped you and mm -hmm. your music so milestones important you know might 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 have been well obviously the woman who came and grabbed your hand and mm -hmm. that's that's one mm -hmm. any other milestones that you can uh, share with us to encourage us wow um do you ever get nervous before you go on now, Actually, no. Know, yeah. Like uh, we did, uh, uh, we do prayer before the show. Ah, so like, we like hold a hand ah. and uh, we hum. Like uh, um, I actually, that was taught by the uh, Huma Sekela from South Africa mm. when I invited him to join our tour, and he told us it's called Potoji in his words, mm. and maybe South African thing. Yes. But Potoji and we hum and uh, pray, just put our mind together mm -hmm. and uh, take breath. <laughs> and that was 
perfect since then. I'm doing that. But uh, when I hit uh, notes, always my uh, I don't you don't get feel nervous. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because you well, you said you you know we both mm -hmm. know that we're channels, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's 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 our job, right? Or, or the flashlight or the bridge or whatever that is. Right. Yeah. I think uh, we're musician or mm -hmm. doctor that uh, we we uh, we have some role. Yeah. And uh, I feel this is a mission. Yeah. And we. Just deliver the light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And and you just got back from Tokyo, and I just mm -hmm. got my own signed copy. <laughs> uh, yeah. You were live in Tokyo. Uh -huh. What were your favorite parts of that tour? Well, that was uh, like my um, highlight of my highlight chapter of my life. Wow. So and there's uh, your milestone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, more than 25 years, I have uh, been touring all over the world with my music mm -hmm. and uh, this one is uh, has captured uh, my most current my energy mm -hmm. my look and everything mm -hmm. and uh, i invited a special guest chuck love and Kirk Wellam with my family on the road my band mm -hmm. so it was uh, like um, end of the uh, soul quest world tour wow so this is uh, one of my highlight Absolutely. And at the same time, when I finished this show, I felt, okay, completed. Mm. And the next quest, yes, next chapter, I have to move on. Yeah. And what, what is that going to look like? Have you have any ideas so far? Yes. So yes? that's why I'm putting together this acoustic band. Yes. And now I'm start really moving forward with them and touring, start touring next year. Yes, and you're kicking it off, I think, right? This yes. Friday. Yes. So this Friday, uh, Keiko and two artists. Uh -huh. who uh, Caritos del Puerto on bass, acoustic uh -huh. bass, and uh, Jimmy Brownlee, uh, the uh, percussionist and the drummer. They are from Cuba. Uh huh. And amazing talent, and they were sweet, beautiful. Ha and, and we have a little clip that we're going to uh, play so that okay. uh, we can highlight. What's going to happen on Friday? Okay. All right, that was a lovely preview of what's going to happen this Friday night. And I'm going to be there, and I want you to be there, too. Yes, please. Yes, be there. and this <laughs> wonderful, wonderful concert. It's rare that Keiko actually does a concert at home, mm -hmm. so that's one of the nice. one of the draws. It's Friday night mm -hmm. at the Aratani, mm -hmm. correct? Theater in downtown L.A. Downtown L.A. From 8 p.m. 8 p.m., and uh, I've been told that if you are a Dr. Marissa listener and in the local area, you're going to have to join me. I will be there. And you can actually get $5 off if you use Dr. Marissa as a promo code. So I expect all of my listeners who are local to meet me Friday night on a date because I won't have one. You will be my date. <laughs> and uh, uh, just join me for a, just an amazing evening of acoustic jazz mm -hmm. music and uh, some improv some you know we're gonna watch how that uh, music spirit comes through you yes and uh i of course there is my melodies but in different form mm -hmm. and different energy and every every time every moment we perform together it's like a miracle yes and we, we experience so much emotions. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So the uh, website to go to if you want to purchase tickets, I think the easiest one is jaccc.org. And um, if you didn't get that, you can always Google Keiko Matsui, uh, uh, J-A-C-C-C, uh -huh. uh, or the Aratani, and you'll get there. And then just put in Dr. Marissa in the promo code, and you'll get $5. I think it's very reasonable. Orchestra tickets, I think, are $45, I believe. So only $40 for a concert with Keiko Matsui. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, at the Long Beach Jazz Festival, it was a whole lot more than that. <laughs> but they're one of my clients, so it, oh. it's still like really, really, really affordable. But it was just absolutely wonderful seeing you <laughs> this summer. And that's my birthday weekend. It, they uh, they put on the Jazz oh. Festival in Long Beach just for my birthday oh. every single year. That's gorgeous so, <laughs> present <laughs> for it? you. Isn't wow. it? And, and definitely a highlight going mm-hmm. backstage and revisiting with you. That's great. Yeah. 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 So when you, when you, at what point, Mm -hmm. and this is one of the the reasons I don't usually have musicians on because it's talk radio, Mm -hmm. but I wanted you on because you are um, a musician who, who uses her music to bring awareness Mm -hmm. to different areas of pain around the planet Mm. to help heal it with your consciousness, with the music and financial contributions or Mm. or highlighting that. Mm. So when did that become, you know, I have to do that? Because not all musicians do that. I, I think that many musicians, you know, they, they want to, they want to make a lot of money and, Mm. you know, now it's becoming more popular to actually have a cause. Mm. But I love the fact that you were doing this a long time. Tell Mm -hmm. me, how did that, what happened? Yes, um, very naturally that happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of I was performing from the stage and uh, um, several uh, organization approached to my record label, that was management, that was first. Mm -hmm. And I think the first one was like uh, breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I, because I felt that I'm healthy and the mother of two girls and uh, uh, traveling with music. And so I just want to give something back mm-hmm. through the music mm-hmm. and I was thinking that you know and hold on one second mm-hmm. I have two girls too oh my <laughs> gosh <laughs> really? this is oh, like weird I'm like here. I know oh I know because somebody said when they saw a picture of you and I that they thought we looked like sisters mm-hmm. and now it's like like weird so weird. we are soulmate and yes. maybe we were twins maybe in the in some, another another yeah. planet or another. how old are your girls they are over 20 now. Oh, okay. Mine yeah. are little again. Mine are 16 and 18. The little so. one is 20 now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So not too much further. This right. Weird. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I interrupted you, but I just had to say okay. that. It's like getting weirder. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. My fingers mm-hmm. are tingling. Yeah, me okay. too. Okay. So they approached you, the record label. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, and the first one was uh, about breast. breast cancer. And when I learned about the more statistics, Statistics. Mm-hmm. And um, when I feel that really I can deliver music and re- will reach to something. Mm-hmm. So I accepted that um, um, opportunity. Yes. And I made a little uh, mini album and I spoke about uh, uh, how much. <laughs> it's front of doctor. I'm sorry. No, but, uh, yeah. no. How much the. the Early detection, detection is um, early yes. checkup is important. Yes, yes. So yes, that kind yes. of thing, and also I lost my elementary school friend. She was thirty, mm. and because of uh, the breast cancer, uh. so I I felt lots of reasons. So I started doing that. Then since then, whenever I heard something special, cause and I feel really okay this is important, mm-hmm. then I dedicated my music. Mm-hmm. Sometimes de- uh, dedicated my song for the charity or did a tour mm-hmm. for awareness and uh, many, many things happened. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And I, when I was doing my research, I found another uh, uh, synchronous uh, connection. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so, the, so you did one for the astronauts that uh-huh. were lost in the Challenger. Mm. And the guy that you did the concert with who si- who put words to your drop of water uh-huh. is actually someone I've never met him, but he's very big in my spiritual community at Agape, yeah. Carl Anderson. A, and uh, the Carl Anderson, yes. Yes. Uh, he is great. Yes. Spirit and uh, human being. Yeah. And uh, he's there. Yes. Up there. With but, dads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with dads, mm-hmm. yes. And uh, actually... That was great uh, meeting him. That was my first album, the title track, A Drop of Water. Uh. And the lyricist, a lyricist Jeff Day, mm-hmm. um, and uh, he's up there already too. Right. But 
the way he put together was the, the words, lyric, includes um, very spiritually, like looking the earth from the universe. And mm -hmm. when Carl Anderson sang, sang that song, right. he dedicated it to uh, Dr. Ron McNair. Yes, who yeah. was one of the astronauts. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that was very deep, spiritual. It became right. great song. Yes. And, uh, of very course, powerful. Derek Nakamoto is here, and he helped to this recording, too. And oh, that, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's another. He's been supporting my career for whole all the time. Your whole career. Yes. Wow, yes. that's beautiful. Yes, mm -hmm. you can't see him. He's not on camera. He didn't want to mm -hmm. be on camera, but <laughs> but uh, xie xie in Chinese for the work that you do supporting Keiko, Derek, mm -hmm. and arigato <laughs> in uh, Japanese. That's the only Japanese right. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, yes. it's that's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. And so, mm -hmm. and you also did some work uh, uh, with the tsunami. Tsunami, yes. Right, the mm -hmm. one in... Yes, um, uh, Tohoku, uh, we had a tragedy by tsunami and also radiation problem in Fukushima. Mm -hmm. And uh, right after that, I felt that I want to dedicate some something. Mm -hmm. Then I received the song called, uh, I received the melodies and I named it called Hikari. And mm -hmm. the subtitle is To the Soul Who Depart This Earth mm -hmm. and To the Soul Who Stayed on This Earth and Supporting Each Other. Beautiful. And so I made that. Mm -hmm. And that was March 11th. Mm -hmm. And actually, one more uh, kind of uh, impression, I mean, a big memory in my life was mm -hmm. nine, after 9-11. Yes. And uh, uh, actually, the artist, uh, Dave Coz, and the station, radio station, did a big, big prayer event uh, at the Staples in L.A. Uh -huh. And that day, I flew from Japan for just only one show. Mm -hmm. And then Stevie Wonder was there, Patty Austin, everybody was there. Mm -hmm. And we told, we hold hand and uh, we don't want to see each other like this cause, but mm -hmm. at least we can dedicate music. So we yes. did that. and Very powerful. And I dedicated my song Deep Blue as a solo. And then I flew back to Japan next day for my girl, little one, had an examination for the elementary school uh -huh. and uh, the like uh, interview, mm -hmm. important interview mm -hmm. with the parents. Mm -hmm. So I flew back there, but that was very special. And then when, uh, sorry, long story. When That's I okay. <laughs> so when we had uh, March 11th, the artist contacted me. So you gave us the prayer and the music on for the 9-11 mm. and this is the time we want to do for you your country mm. so they again they uh, invited me for the special event mm -hmm. they did in LA for Japan uh. and it was really exchange of the energy and love yes. and the support yes. so uh, it, it was sad sad uh, hap happening yes but still those event Mm -hmm. made us to think about how to live mm. and uh, what's important and all these things. Yes. To yes. us to remind and what's important. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, tragedy is painful, mm -hmm. but the beauty in tragedy is it brings, it breaks our heart open mm -hmm. to love more. Right. And right. to create more and mm -hmm. to be more. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's not that we want tragedy, but right. what happened in Paris, mm -hmm. what hap what's happening all around the world, mm -hmm. if we can see those events mm -hmm. as, as important break open events, mm -hmm. that we become more right. and we become more loving and more compassionate right. and more at peace. And we should think about we are just one. Yes. One love, yes. all connected, just life. We are human being. Does she sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like somebody I know. Oh, yes. Gosh. Which is why I'm giving you mm -hmm. Dr. Marissa's Beneficial Presence on the Planet Award. And oh. I don't give it to all my guests, but you absolutely deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a good time and a good uh, way to go off <laughs> to our break. Uh, this is the time where we thank our sponsors 
for supporting this show about hope and happiness. So we'll be back in two and in two. Would you like to have your own signature fragrance created for the holidays? Gary Akunzi produces boutique scents containing 100% essential oils from Europe, free of chemicals and alcohol. One of his popular creations, Transylvania Night's Treasure, is a signature fragrance with flower scents indigenous to the actual land of Transylvania. To order, email gary.ukunzi at yahoo.com. If you think that you don't have the money to start your own business, then I, Dr. Marissa, have fantastic news for you. You can own your own business that has been proven uh, to be a phenomenal, phenomenal, say that again, phenomenal success all around the country with very little upfront investment. We are talking about the selfie station. It is a very cool opportunity. It's a portable touchscreen photo booth, state-of-the-art, that people and businesses book for weddings, corporate functions, uh, trade shows and proms, promotional events, parties, and more. Selfie Station captures lifelong memories that can be emailed, texted, printed, personalized, and even uploaded to social media. You won't believe how much people will pay to make your business the life of their party. It is the easiest income you will ever earn and pay for itself in no time at all. You can start your own business right now. Let Selfie Station be the picture taker, icebreaker, and your money maker. Now, as a special introductory offer, get $500 off the professional package. That, that's $500 off thanks to UBNSelfie.com and put in Dr. Marissa. Yes, my name is uh, worth a lot of money <laughs> these days. UBNSelfie.com and put in Dr. Marissa so I can get credit and you can get $500 off. That's U- UBNSelfie.com. And the show, take my advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa. Yeah, it's a new product that I'm endorsing for all the people who say that they hate their job and they want to do something else. They want to be their own boss. This is a definitely a great opportunity. And we are back. You are tuned in to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get Balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at Naturally High Noon. That is today live with uh, Universal Broadcasting Network out of the Sunset Gower Studios. And then on my syndicated CNBC News Radio channel, KCAA, Thursdays at 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 11 Pacific Standard Time on AM 1050 and now FM 106.5. And we have Keiko Matsui, the world-renowned keyboardist. And I want to go a little bit uh, different now since we've talked about peace, love, joy, and (laughs) artistry and talk about heritage and talk Mm -hmm. about differences. Mm -hmm. Um, Wasn't planning on talking about this, but since we're both uh, Asian, Uh in in case you thought I was Swedish, I know I have a little bit of blonde, (laughs) but I'm actually Chinese with a dash of Mongolian. Mm -hmm. Keiko, you were born in In Tokyo, Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan. And I did read as I was researching, you know, you Mm -hmm. were the number one Japanese performer. You broke uh, records, you know, the first Japanese this and the first Japanese that. On the billboard. (laughs) Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on billboard and and Mm -hmm. other things and to win certain awards did you ever um did you ever wish that you weren't like you were just said that you were a great artist and not had the word japanese in front of it Uh, i don't know you 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 know uh, what i'm talking about right Mm -hmm. so 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 T- t- I mean, because I'm that way, uh, right? Yeah, you, you, like more global, right? I mean, yeah, like, you want to. You, you don't. Why? Why say that? You know, mm-hmm. the the first black artist or the uh-huh. first. Rarely do they say white, but mm-hmm. you know that whole thing around diversity, mm-hmm. and and you know we've been talking about planet patriotism instead of uh, pl- uh, country patriotism because when right. we keep saying you know U.S. is the best or uh-huh. my country's better than yours, we get into trouble. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So so, just your take on that. Well. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> um, it wasn't one of the questions I prepared you with, yeah. but uh, but uh, where to start? Well, mm, because from my experience, yes. I more and more I get to know about myself 
be uh, being in different country mm -hmm. and like sometime I was in Siberia, Russia, Ukraine, mm -hmm. uh, Lithuania, Poland, Azerbaijan, all these different countries or right. South Africa. Mm -hmm. And then more and more I know about myself and uh, I I discovered more love towards Japan. At the same time, I discovered myself uh, how I am Japanese, spiritually very related to am animism. Which mm. is Japanese kind of believe in everything has a soul, spirit. Yes. Like this desk or a mm -hmm. keyboard, we cannot put Kill. my feet on a, a keyboard. That kind of thing. Uh, okay. But that kind of respect and a special special thing is inside of me. Mm. But at the same time, I feel that um, I don't. I don't. S how to say? Yeah. Say it in Japanese. <laughs> 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 I, well, yeah, I feel, yeah, I mean, uh, when uh, I was touring in Russia with a Ukrainian manager who whose parents is Russian and Ukrainian, and also my band is from Holland and America or um, Brazil, then for me, there is no borders. And really, mm. just we are living human being. Uh, on this earth mm -hmm. so that's why I think some certain way of business or some certain people needs to categorize right genre or the nationalism or religion mm -hmm. they want to do they want to name it right. but for me doesn't matter right, right. Uh, yeah right and if we if mm. we take out that yes kind of yes. thing then yes. I think we can bring in more peace. Yes, I think so. So, so there's the the solution. Mm -hmm. You know, if we, so, my question after that was, mm -hmm. how do we get to world peace? So yes. <laughs> so so you just answered that. Mm -hmm. If we can focus, if mm -hmm. I can paraphrase here, see if thank I understood you. Thank you. You you, you speak better <laughs> English no, than no. me. <laughs> well, you speak better Japanese than me. Of course. Yes. Shall I? Shall I? Uh, yeah. And 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 there's one of the things you know. We I, I live in a country mm -hmm. that has such low tolerance for anything that isn't uh, like us, and mm -hmm. and we don't get to world peace mm -hmm. when we don't like anything that's different. Mm -hmm. The way we get to world peace mm -hmm. is to look for that which binds us, which is what you were just talking about, uh -huh. not that which separates us. Right. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Music is a great example of something that binds us, transcends all borders, transcends right. all differences, mm -hmm. which is why I'm going to start having more musicians because I mm -hmm. think you you guys get it. You mm -hmm. you musicians understand what it takes mm -hmm. to come together. Mm -hmm. You 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 transcend the differences through mm -hmm. a common language and mm -hmm. that common language. And I is think music. we are musicians are so lucky because we can experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, firsthand yeah. and very intimately. Grateful. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm yeah, and I'm grateful for the example and I'm grateful mm -hmm. that I get to dabble in a little of it as mm. well yeah so you i w you wanted to show a couple of other of your albums so this mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. what's your favorite song on here let's see you've got secret pond let me see which one's awakening is my f my favorite on this album oh, really? Thank so you. how did awakening that's a great word uh, how did actually that come up? um there are lots of behind the story. Yes, but yes. Uh, before this uh, album was born, I had uh, many hardship, and I mm. I start restart thinking like how to live and how how I want mm. to live, and then I found that you are the producer of your life mm. and whole life, yeah, and um, you are the creator of the life, mm. your life, yes. So that's why. Do and you, uh, do you also study Abraham? Mm -hmm. Abraham Rob, Rob Hicks, mm -hmm. Abraham oh. Hicks, because that's we create our own reality. Oh, I was just I was scared that was going to be another oh. synchronous oh. <laughs> connection no, no. with us. No, just, okay, but just uh, but uh, <laughs> by awakening, I just discovered those words, yeah. and I named the title "The Road." Dot dot dot, not the road. Ah. Dot dot dot, because yes. our road continues even on this earth or another planet. Mm -hmm. Just. Uh, we are the creator and you are the producer of your life. Yes. So that's important. And mm. don't let 
any circumstances <laughs> get in the way of that creation. Yes. No matter what the hardship was. Thank you. <laughs> I just wrote about this in my Live, Love, Laugh, Learn oh, newsletter. Really? I, I swear. I oh just gosh. I was just inspired to do it. Usually it takes me a little while to get going. And I uh -huh. on, on Thanksgiving Sunday night, mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I just got this inspiration to write about it. And I oh. wrote about pain. Oh. And the and the and the the value of pain in our lives mm -hmm. to expand us open. I actually I wrote. Uh, you wrote back, that song for me. Yeah, but uh, no, <laughs> I I wrote about the peace and the universe and the God didn't make us and the nature. Uh, no, no, they uh, God and the universe made this beautiful earth and uh, us human being to us to cherish that uh, love mm. and the light and uh, this uh, environment yes so so we have to live for that and yes. we have to focus that yes. i wrote that you did <laughs> oh my gosh there you go Ooh. there you go another dovetail oh. yeah wow yeah it, it it's um it, and it's interesting i actually had you know uh, Rick O'Berry. Have you ever heard of Rick O'Berry? He's the guy, mm -hmm. the dolphin activist. He was on my show oh. who's saving the dolphins that okay. were being slaughtered in Tai Chi uh -huh. in Japan. Okay. You know about that, right? Oh, yes, I'm, I heard yeah, about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that he's absolutely singing your song mm -hmm. because his uh, whole message is mm -hmm. what are we doing to who we live with on the planet. Mm -hmm. So not just dolphins and mm -hmm. and I and I love the fact that I think we're finally waking up on the planet mm -hmm. to this understanding. Right. This is our home, right? And mm -hmm. our job is to leave this planet mm -hmm. a little better than we found it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, this is, we see uh sad things on this planet but uh, now I think this is good time to us to awakening and yes. uh, to let other people to feel this yes so it is uh, i think great era isn't it a great era i think i so. feel that too i feel too I feel, that's why we're here <laughs> <laughs> that we picked this time to yes. come yeah it's, a, it's an I'm amazing glad i meet time. you again yes. in this time yes. really this yes. stage of my life me too Ooh. i know <laughs> i love the way my show i get like best friends from this show <laughs> right don wells marianne from gilligan's island is now oh. a friend of mine oh, really? well, i'll have to introduce oh. you she loves your music too oh, really? yeah. 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 Great. Uh -huh. yeah it's great uh -huh. so we're um almost out of time let me <laughs> see what questions i think i only asked you like three questions out of the 15 <laughs> that i was gonna <laughs> ask you thank you for homework uh, no. yes i know <laughs> kidding, so, kidding. so much of, so much of that um so what would, what advice uh -huh. would you give to anyone who would like to become a musician? So I have a lot of clients who say, I've always wanted to learn the piano, mm -hmm. you know, but it's too late. And mm -hmm. I say, it's never too late. Right. You can always learn. But mm -hmm. people who are aspiring, I have a, a lot of listeners who, who are musicians mm -hmm. and they want to be a musician. What advice mm -hmm. would you give them? Well, of course, uh, the basic practice is important, uh -huh. but... I think more than that, uh, I think you, uh, if you found your uniqueness or your uh, passion towards something, mm -hmm. and uh, just keep holding that mm -hmm. and uh, believe, and uh, yeah, that's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, there are so many people surround you, yeah. but I think. I mean, I, I was telling myself too. Now yes. I can say that, but uh, but but there you have the freedom of the choice. Yes. So just uh, listen to your inner self and uh, just uh, yeah, with uh, your instincts, I think uh, you will select the best of best out yes. of best and yes. uh, just to uh, dedicate from the soul. Mm -hmm. I really really want to put my soul for every notes and. Um, some, some, um, you know, the one promoter in Europe, he wrote me a letter after mm -hmm. my performance over there, and he said, "Musician plays music, mm -hmm. but Keiko draw the art." Oh, so I was, wow, that's beautiful. So it was beautiful, and I thank him to for that word, yes. and I was so honored. 
to yes. receive that award. Yes. Well, then I'm going to say something yes. that I didn't say mm. at the top of the show. When I listen to your music, mm -hmm. I am transported to a place of creativity, mm. of peace, of love, of fun, and of mastery. Oh, wow. That's what happens when I listen to your music. Oh, thank you very When I'm writing, much. I put on, on Pandora, Keiko Matsui, and mm -hmm. all of your music comes up, and mm -hmm. it, it inspires me. And, and wow. you have a real gift and I love oh. the fact that I get to be front row and center <laughs> literally on Friday at uh -huh. your concert so please do join me and Keiko and your two Cuban yes, yes uh, you know that's a story I'm sure in itself that we don't have time for just uh -huh. how you found them uh -huh. how did you yeah. find them oh <laughs> Actually, I, I booked the show and I, I knew I was going to do acoustic set, mm -hmm. acoustic band. Then I was I went to Japan for just a few day a few days or something and uh, my friend Bob James concert I went to as a friend and then I saw Caritos on the stage and I just loved his son. So uh -huh. after the show I went backstage and please give me your phone number. <laughs> First time I asked. <laughs> First time you asked a guy yeah. for their phone number. Thank you, thank you. Ah. I had hesitation to say your phone number. Is he uh, single? <laughs> no, he's married. Oh, but, okay. but I felt that, that was fate, really. And a great fate. We found a chemical between all oh, of us. That's and great. we will invite uh, cherished uh, uh, John. Mm -hmm. He's a great uh, artist too. So we, four of us. Maybe wonderful on the stage. For, and and it's very it's it's unique music that you've never ever heard before mm. right because it's coming from spirit and coming through your soul right, original. and all Sound. original all original mm -hmm. so again j a c c c dot org or google keiko matsui los angeles and you'll see the concert and then put in promo code Dr. Marissa, M-A-R-I-S-S-A, -S -S and you'll get $5 off, and I'll see you there at the concert. And that's all the time we have. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's so just been wonderful. wonderful and you can carry you. your giant beneficial presence of the Planet Award <laughs> off thank out you of so the much. studio. It's heavy, though. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. Thank it's been you. truly a blessing. Thank you very much. Yeah. I know, isn't that great? <laughs> And we are at the end of the show when we do the balance bar. And that's the time where I just encourage you to uh, stay with me and to participate with me on different life activities that promote hope and happiness. And so the first thing I'm going to have you do is if you have an Android, guess what? The 21 Day Fast from Complaining with Dr. Marissa has now a companion app in the Google Play Store. It came out the night before Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. And for 99 cents, you can purchase that. And it's really fabulous. I didn't uh, upload, I forgot to send it. I'll do it next week. But it's got this really cool, you know, if you complain, it, it has a baby crying. Let's see if we can get it to do it. <laughs> And if you don't complain, you get applause. And does that applause sound familiar? Yes. Yeah, so you're going to have to get the app. Uh, it will be in the Apple stores in probably a week in time for Christmas. And today is day one. And the balance tip for today on the 21 Day Fast from Complaining, round 54. We've been doing this for 54 consecutive months since July 1st, 2011, encouraging you to lose negative weight. And the tip for today is complain all you want. Today is self-awareness day. So when you complain after today, you'll have to start over at day one. But since it's day one all day, complain all you want. Count and be aware of how, much, how many complaints come through your mouth. And that you'll, way you'll have a baseline for the rest of the fast for the next 20 days. So please do uh, purchase the app. Support my piece work around the planet um, as well. It is the a Asian Oprah giveaway. I'm going to need to get a drum roll. So uh, the first person, and I know there's a lot of people who are waiting for these free, free tickets. So the first person to go to fourbalance.org, my website, sign the visitor uh, registration and say, Keiko, on the subject matter, we'll get two free tickets to Friday night's 
performance. And I'll uh, just once I get that, I'll tell you how to pick those tickets up. So it's Friday at 8 p.m. And those of you who are listening to the syndicated show uh, and the tickets are gone, you can still use Dr. Marissa in the promo code and get $5 off and come support an artist who does magic with her music and more because all of her work supports other areas on the planet for world peace. And I'm all about that. And she's all about that too. So thanks so much. Next week is the second week of December. So it is second week of the month with Dr. Marissa, the kinder, gentler Dr. Laura. Yes, it's call in Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So uh, if you haven't already, uh, get acquainted with my uh, my co-producer Jarvis Essex on Facebook and tell him you would like to be a victim, I mean a volunteer, uh, to get your life tires balanced and your critical thinking smog checked with Dr. Marissa, the kinder, gentler Dr. Laura. So that's it for today. Please do tune in next week with Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa Pay. That's P for positive E-I. And remember, it's all about balance. Peace in and peace out. To take away the part of me that wants to stay. And sing along For without it There's no laughter No tears Lonely days after No memories for The way